young man is Brandon Crooker, a 16-year-old teenager from Southern California. While visiting his grandparents in Southern Tennessee in the summer of 2004, Brandon would be rushed to the hospital barely clinging to consciousness. The next morning, Brandon would wake up and discover something that would change his life forever. He had just been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. What is type 1 diabetes? Type 1 diabetes is a lifelong disease that develops when the pancreas stops producing insulin. Without insulin, a hormone, the body cannot regulate levels of glucose in the blood. Approximately 5 to 10 percent of all diabetics are type 1 diabetics. The rest of the diabetic population is primarily type 2 diabetics. The difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetics is that type 2 diabetes is primarily an insulin resistance whereas type 1 diabetics are no longer able to produce insulin for themselves naturally the pancreas is a flat pear-shaped gland approximately six inches long located between the stomach and the spine surrounded by the liver intestine and other organs to better understand type 1 diabetes we must first look into the functions of the pancreas and its role in controlling blood glucose levels throughout the body. In a normal healthy body, the pancreas reacts in the following way. First of all, the stomach will take food and convert it into glucose, which will then enter into the bloodstream. The pancreas reacts to the glucose in the bloodstream by producing a hormone called insulin. Insulin works like a key, unlocking cells to allow the glucose to enter where the cells will use the glucose for energy to carry out the cell's functions. This process keeps glucose levels in the blood in balance. In the case of a type 1 diabetic, however, a virus has tricked the body into attacking the beta cells located in the pancreas. These beta cells are responsible for producing the hormone insulin. Once these beta cells are gone, the pancreas is no longer able to produce enough insulin thus causing blood glucose levels to go out of control. In order to keep the blood glucose levels in check, a person with type 1 diabetes is required to inject insulin manually. The warning signs and symptoms of type 1 diabetes are usually often hard to detect. This is because symptoms may not even exhibit themselves until as much as 90% of the beta cells have been destroyed inside the pancreas. Brandon Crooker recalls some of the very first signs he noticed during the onset of his type 1 diabetes. Back to when I was diagnosed with diabetes, I realized I didn't quite know what diabetes was at that time. I remember about two weeks before I was officially diagnosed with diabetes, I I went on a field trip with my friends and it was a good day but at the end of the day I felt weird. I didn't feel quite normal. I didn't think of anything of it. I just thought I had a lot of fun. And I noticed I had to uh, urinate a lot more than usual. But I, I really didn't think anything of it. I had like five sodas that day. Symptoms got worse and I was more thirsty and I just, I felt unusual, lightheaded a lot, was thirsty a lot, like I said, and I'd wake up in the middle of the night to use the restroom, and I'd be so disoriented and dizzy that I would run into walls. It was that bad, and I went to the emergency room later that day because I was passing out, and um, I just barely made it in before I had completely lost consciousness, and the next thing I remember I woke up in the hospital bed and they said you had type 1 diabetes. And it was a really life changing day of my life. Unlike before, Brandon's body cannot make insulin naturally and must be injected manually. Today, insulin.